Hey guys, say Spartan here with part four of our Yu-Gi-Oh! core set openings. Today we have the Zexel series. This introduced XYZs. And the first pack here, Generation Force, came out in 2011. So that's five years ago. So we have Generations 4, Generation Force to Primal Origins. And let's get into it. So yeah. So XYZs were introduced. In this set right here. And the numbers were introduced as well. Uh, the front here is uh, number 17, Leviathan Dragon. Windups and Crash Bugs were introduced to their archetypes. And some support for other ones. So, let's see what we get. A lot of the more recent cards that I would remember. So we got a Windup Magician. I believe that's one of the good ones to get. So. Tyrant's Tummy Ache, Gustos, Stream Clown, it's funny, <laughs> old school card. Alright, next we got Photon Shockwave, the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, is the cover card here. Photons and Evils were introduced, their archetypes, and the Evils had sub archetypes, it's pretty crazy. So, got more support for windups, Gem Knights. Infernities and junk archetypes and gishkis. So, a lot of stuff in this one. Alright, let's see what we get here. Got a DD Telepon. Very cool. And we got a Ultra Rare. Pretty awesome. Number 10 Illuminite. I believe this one became a tin card. I'm not too sure about that. But yeah. Three level four monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card and send one card from your hand to the graveyard and draw a card. So, very interesting. 24 24. It's not bad. So, ultra rare, very cool. Stinging Swordsman. Sign Mike. All right. All right. Next, we have Order of Chaos. I believe this is where they introduced the scene numbers number c whatever so you, this is utopia ray in the front i believe um gaga ga, ga, go go goes were introduced in this set and insectors i know they were a pretty uh, pretty strong archetype back in the day so the gaga ga, guys and the go go goes and the whatever else they had oh this pack all right there we go we also got some ninja support in here too very cool Oh, two ninjas in a row. We got a ZW Unicorn Spear. And we got a Super Rare, a Wind Up Rat. Very interesting. Wind Ups were a uh, menace back in the day as well. Evil Tau. Very cool. Two foils out of three packs. It's pretty good. Alright. Next we have Galactic Overlord. Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is the cover card here. Very pink. Very cool. Uh, Bouncers, Butter Spy, and uh, Heretics were introduced, and a bunch more support. Card Card D also came out in this set, and number 11, Big Guy. So, let's see what we get. Oh, that's a good and rare to get Photom Papal Operative. I believe that's how you said it. It's a very good uh, XYZ to get. That wacky magic. It was played uh, a lot before then. We just got better uh, XYZs. So, very good rare to get. Alright, next we got Return of the Duelist. Uh, this is Excalibur in the front. Very good. Uh, Prophecy. Uh, Gergia and Madolce were introduced in the set. And still very good. Uh, Madolce Gem Knights, I believe they're still being played. Uh, their prices haven't really gone down, so yeah. Let's see what we get. Let's click that there. Alright, let's see what we got. Block Lego Golem. Uh, 
uh, Sishunder. It's a yeah. Sishunder, yeah. Three of a kind. Spartan. Chronomaly. And there you go. Nothing uh, too exciting in that pack, but very cool. Next, we have Abyss Rising. Mermails were in this set. They're still going strong today. Um, and yeah, just a lot more support for Prophecy, Madolce, and Penguins. Because this is a water based set, so you gotta have penguins. Let's see what we get. Oh, we got an XYZ. Hopefully, that's not a troll. Some Mermail Bisturge. And we got a Ghost Rare. Wow. I only pulled one other Ghost Rare uh, from the pack, so this is pretty cool. Number C32, Shark Drake Vice, I believe that's how you say it. It's first edition, too. That's cool. Wow. Really cool to get a Ghost Rare. Especially since there's no more Ghost Rares in Ultimate Rare, so. Hey, magician, very cool. But yeah, wow. Very good. Alright, next we got Cosmo Blazer. Uh, Fire Fists were introduced. Also, the Haze Archetype and uh, Heraldic Beast. More Prophecy and Dustin Archetype support. And yeah, Fire Fist is a very big one. Breakthrough skills in this set as well. It's a very good set. Remember buying the, the special editions to get uh, Fire Fist stuff when I started to jump back in. So, let's see what we got. Got a Blackwing Gladius the Midnight Sun. Very cool. March of the Monarchs, another good card for those Monarch decks. All right, next we got Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. More uh, Galaxy Eyes cards. The front here, that is a Galaxy Eye. Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. More Gaga Ga Shark Harpy Fairy Number Madolce Mermail Prophecy Fire Fist support. That's a lot of support. Dragon Rulers were introduced in this, which pretty much warped the meta. To the Dragon Ruler format, if you guys remember that. Uh, also, Mecha Phantom Beasts, the Draco Sack, and the Spellbook of Judgment. Those were big cards in the set, so let's see what we got. Everybody was after that Draco Sack, that's what I remember. Ah, there's a baby dragon there, lightning. Got Battling Boxer Lead Yoke. Nothing there. Oh, there's another baby dragon. Alright. Got Judgment of the Light. This is introduced Bujins. That's what I remember. A Trap Tricks, uh, Star Seraphs. A lot of a lot of stuff. It's pretty cool. I really like to say because of Bujins. I did did play Bujin. Alright, so let's see what we got. Got Brotherhood of the Farfist Cure. Very cool. Oh, uh, there's the Yellow Dust. And a Bujingi Turtle. Very good card. Alright, so we're getting down to the last three packs here. We got Shadow Specters. This introduced Ghost Tricks, uh, more Bujin support, Vampire support, Mecha Phantom Beasts. And yeah, very cool. Indeed. All right, let's see what we get. Spirit cards. There's probably my favorite ghost trick, Spectre. Got a gig gigantic castle. I want to say there. Also, baby raccoons. Forgot. Forgot about that completely. Baby raccoons. Pretty cool. All right. We have Legacy of the Valiant. Sylvans were introduced. They were getting a lot of hype for a little little bit. Also, uh, number 101, Silent Honor Arc was in this set. Also, Evil Storm Exiton Knight, which is now banned, but would still be cool to pull. And 101 is always good to get. 101 kind of fell out of favor for a little bit, but then uh, came back because uh, Exiton Knight uh, took its place. Yeah, X-Tongue got banned, so... Can't have that stuff. Alright, let's see what we get. 
Got a Gravekeeper's uh, Heretic. And wow, we got an Ultimate Rare. Very cool. A Bujinte, Bujinte Sukiyomi. This is Arasuda's souped up version. Oh, pretty cool. Pulled one of every uh, rarity except Secret Rare. Let's see if Primal Origins could do that for us. The last pack of the Zexal series here is Primal Origins. Artifacts were a very big thing out of this set. Also, uh, Noble Knights got support in this set, from what I remember. Um, Majesty's Fiend came out in this set. Secret Rare, very good. Yeah. So, very cool set. A lot of, a lot of our types got, uh, got support in this set, so. But artifacts were the biggest thing. Moral Tech, in particular. Got a number C103, Ragna, Inf Ragna Infinity, and no foil in this last pack. Destroy. Give it a try. So there you go. That is the Zexel series opening of packs. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The next pack is going to be the Arc V pack uh, line there. I believe it is Duelist Alliance to uh, Breakers of Shadow, the most recent set to come out. So. Hope you guys enjoy that. Hope you guys watched the previous videos. If not, I will link them in the description below. And after done all five series, I will do a recap of all the foils that we got and all the rares that we got. So until next time, guys. Later.